Okay, let's start. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a PCB from an actual ID to actually mill a PCB board and assemble it. So, the software I'm using is Eagle for creating the PCB schematics in the board. And then I use PCB G code to actually generate the G code. And then I use Mac 3 for my machine. So let's start with a project. First of all, you need to create a new project. Right click, new project. I have done that. And after that, you right click, new schematic. Also done that. Um, you want some libraries, so go up to your libraries and press the use all if you're comfortable with that. I have already done that, so let's go into your schematics. Schematics. This is how it looks like. Um, I don't know if you prefer black or white, I prefer this layout, so I'm using it. Let's add some components. I need this one first, the connector, one of them. Let's go and add some um, resistor. Those, I probably want this one, yes. I need four of those. Let's go back and add some transistors. I want that one. When you add it, right click and you will rotate it. Left click and you will put it in place. So like that. Okay, let's start again. Time for drawing some wires. As you can see, I've already put up some wires. Uh, this is the wire button. Use that one. Press there. And go to where you want to go. Press escape to abort the wire creation. Go back. Do the same next one. Yes, I want to connect them. Escape. Do that. Connect them. So. Oh, escape. All wires done. Um, so this is how it looks like when you have the wires done. Not the prettiest thing. But we have some errors now. If you run the error check. You will see it that we have missing junction point And we have missing values. So let's do them. Uh, you need to put junction points to know if like this one here. Is actually put together or not. So then you use the junction point. There. There, 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 and there. I think that's all. Let's test again. No, we have two left. Of course. That one, and which one more did we have? That one. Okay. There we go. Now let's put some values on the parts we have. Uh, values you do here. Like that. 470. 4.7k. 4.7k. 470. 47uf. 47uf. Okay. Let's test again. Cool, we have three left, but we won't put any parts or values on them, so let's do it from here. Okay, just as you know, the program I'm using, the Cam Studio Recorder, is total shit. Uh, I need to do it in small, small parts. Doesn't work, anyway, so. Now we have the schematic, let's go to the board. You press this button, the board layout, and whoops, you are there. So. This is my board, let's zoom out, and there you have all the components. First of all, I need this a little bit bigger. Let's zoom out a little bit more. So, oh. so what have I done here? I've actually changed the grid 
from inches to millimeters. As you can see, to one millimeter, 0.5 millimeters. Because I don't like that big as it is originally. So good. let's go from there. Let's move in the components. Um, I'm just placing them a little bit everywhere. I'm not sure where to have them yet. I probably need to get this a lot bigger. Like that. Uh, let's get them all inside. I'm using the demo version, so I have some limitations, and therefore I need to get it uh, all inside this because I can't work with it anyways. So let's get this one. Probably, yeah. Let's put it here. That one here. And we take uh, this one, and the same as the board, right click to rotate. Right click to rotate. them in, press Alt F2 to zoom in. Okay, let's start by, I don't like when it looks like this, let's see if we can move it. That's better. When it comes to this, you have some air wires, your best friend is the rat's nest function, that one. It calculates the shortest air wires and will probably move some around. So when doing that, you can actually see if you have the things on the correct position or not. Let's move those. Looks a little bit nicer. Um, I have learned that you can actually have things rather close to each other. Um, See here if we can move those as well. <coughs> Sorry, I have a damn cold. <coughs> damn. Using the air nest, like that, you can see it moves a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm happy with it. Should not be, I don't think so. I started to wonder if I've done something wrong here. Okay, at least something. Let's try this out. When it comes to settings, you must go into the ERC, the electrical rule check. No, not that one, the DRC, the sign rule check, of course. I always pick the wrong one. That one. Uh, you want to set some settings. Uh, I like to have layers I don't skip, the wires, 12 mil, 12 mil. Sizes, 15. I need those to, because I'm milling, it's a bit better than. And that one, 12 mil. Okay, what did I do now? There you go. When all those are set, we can press the check if we want. Looks like some dimensions are wrong. Yeah, we have put it too close to the edge. Approve them all. It doesn't really matter. I can move it afterwards. So, <coughs> Okay, let's run the outer router. Uh, this one, routing gate, 0.5. I want uh, nothing on top, and I'm using star on the bottom. So let's run it. As you can see, it didn't work out really well. We have two air wires, so we need to get them down. We write rip up star. 
then we get all, everything back. You can use the normal rip up function, but that one will only rip up one wire at a time. So this one is easier. Rip up star. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this sorted a little bit. Um, I'm not sure which one to move yet. We need something to be get going here. Sorry, there we have it. You cannot move it outside. Doesn't like that. Let's do it like this instead. Let's try it again. When you're using the outer route, you must be aware of that it isn't that good, so you have to retry it several times. So, uh, still not running perfectly. 87.5. Okay, rip up again. Okay, let's sort this one around and run it again. It's not wrong, that one. Still not working. Okay, I moved two components around a little bit more, as you can see. Let's try it again. Same settings, just run. And there we have it, 100%. That's what we wanted. Perhaps not the previous layout, but it works at least, so let's use that. Uh, let's move the board in a little bit. Uh, like that. So, we have finished board. It is measuring, uh, let's see here, 16 millimeters that way and 26 that way. It's pretty decent, so. Okay, next part is to actually generate the G code. So you run the ULP and you run the PCB G code setup if you are running it the first time. Herein, you will set the milling depth. The text depth, the spot drill holes, and you set some distances. I use 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and 0 0.15. And the etching tool size I'm using is somewhere between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. Depends on how deep I go. Uh, I also set drill depth to 0 0.8 and uh, the milling depth to 0 0.1. So let's try it out. Accept and make my board. See if it gets up. There it is. And it looks not okay. Uh, to me it looks a little bit strange at the moment. Okay, I just switched the component. I saw a mistake in my config. Let's show you. Uh, minimum should be a little bit less. It should be 0 0.05. It's better. By doing that... Okay, it didn't do anything. Let's run it again. Accept and make. As you can see, it looks really a lot better. So... Now we have our good G code. Let's finish this. So we are now ready for actually milling it. So the G code is done. Um, this is part one. Part two will contain not the milling part, but we will actually show you how to, when using uh, cheaper machines, CNC machines, it may not be level enough. So I will show you how to do this. Um, some sort of surface to use to actually mill your uh, PCB and so on, so that will help you out, I hope. And then in part 3 and 4, we will go back and actually mill the board and assemble it. So, see you in the next uh, episode.